For descriptive purposes, we divide the tooth into surfaces. These are named according to their position and uses. In this video, we will be dealing with surfaces and ridges of the tooth. Watch the video till the end to understand it well. Hi, we at Dentarize welcome you all to a platform where we help you to conceptualize, visualize and memorize dentistry. The crowns of incisors and canines have four surfaces and one ridge, while premolars and molars have five surfaces. You can take an extracted tooth in your hand, hold it in the same way it is present in the mouth, observe in the video and relate to the tooth. Let's talk about the surfaces which face towards the lips and the cheeks. In incisors and canines, the surfaces facing towards the lips are called as the labial surfaces, marked in the figure in red. In premolars and molars, the surfaces facing towards the cheeks are called as the buccal surfaces, marked in the figure in blue. Together, these labial and buccal surfaces are called as facial surfaces. Coming to the back of the tooth, the surfaces facing towards the tongue are called as the lingual surfaces, demarcated in the figure with red. Let's discuss about the surfaces present on the side which contacts the adjacent tooth. These surfaces on the teeth are called as the proximal surfaces or the proximate surfaces. There are two proximal surfaces present in a tooth, the mesial surface and a distal surface. To understand this, we need to draw a median line of the face passing through the center of the face between the central incisors of the maxilla and the mandible through their point of contact, represented in the figure with the help of green line. Thus, for individual tooth, the proximal surface which faces towards the midline is called as the mesial surface, demarcated for each tooth in the figure with the help of red line. And the proximal surface which faces away from the midline is called as the distal surface demarcated for each tooth in the figure with the help of blue line. Thus, the distal surface of one tooth contacts the mesial surface of the another tooth. This point of contact is called as the contact area. Notice the arrows present in the figure. But it is not always the case that the mesial surface of one tooth contacts the distal surface of another tooth. There are exceptions to it. The first exception is the contacting surface of the maxillary and mandibular central incisor. Here in the figure we can see the contacting surfaces of the maxillary and mandibular central incisors are facing towards the midline. This implies the mesial surface of the right maxillary central incisor is contacting the mesial surface of the left maxillary central incisor and the mesial surface of the right mandibular central incisor is contacting the mesial surface of the left mandibular central incisor. Another exception is the distal surfaces of the last teeth present in the arch. Since they have no teeth present distal to them, they won't be contacting any surface. Now, let's talk about the surfaces of the teeth that come in contact with the opposite teeth during the act of closure. For premolars and molars, these surfaces are called as the occlusal surfaces because they come in contact with the opposite teeth during occlusion. However, for incisors and canines, we do not have occlusal surfaces, we have incisal ridge. Now. The question would be, what is a ridge? A ridge is any linear elevation on the surface of the tooth. Therefore, if you take an incisor in your hand and move your finger over the surface marked in the figure with red, you will feel a kind of elevation. This elevation is called as a ridge. Since it is present on the incisal surface of the tooth, that is the surface you use to cut or incise the food item, you call it as incisal ridge. Thus, for incisors and canines, we have four surfaces and one ridge. The four surfaces are the labial surface facing towards the lips, the lingual surface facing towards the tongue, 
mesial surface facing towards the midline, distal surface facing away from the midline and one ridge that is the incisal ridge. For premolars and molars, we have five surfaces, the buccal surface facing towards the cheeks, lingual surface facing towards the tongue, mesial surface facing towards the midline, distal surface facing away from the midline and occlusal surface coming in contact with the opposite teeth during occlusion. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, please hit the like icon, share so that we can reach out to maximum people, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Suggestions are always welcome from your side. Stay tuned, stay safe.